Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to another edition of Pope Culture. And, uh, you know, before I even get into our intros, yes, we'll be talking about Cosby. That's what that's all about. Because <laughs> if I don't say it, I'm going to bust out laughing. But anyways, um, <laughs> okay, I'm laughing anyway. But uh, greetings, uh, we're bringing you our show, as always, from the luxurious studios of Radio Titans in Los Angeles. And I'm one of your hosts, Carl Kozlowski. I'm a film critic with the Angeles News in Los Angeles. And uh, with me, as always, are... Tanya Yarbrough, a dog trainer and a Catholic on Extraordinary. Kind of like the uh, poor man's uh, mother, Angelica. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and Michael, uh, I'm Michael Wally, uh, along with Carl. I'm a film critic at Angeles News, and I'm just kind of a poor man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, welcome to the trailer park <laughs> with all of us. Okay. Man, well, this week we've got a, couch. Well, this week we've got a hot show as always. Uh, we're going to be dealing with um, <laughs> the death of our childhood as Bill Cosby gets uh, convicted on three felony charges in a mm-hmm. uh, rape trial. And then on top of that, we have uh, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan has uh, just uh, basically forced the House chaplain, a Jesuit priest, to resign. We'll get into that. As well as a lawyer in Brooklyn sets himself on fire while protesting climate change. And then uh, on top of that, we've got uh, such hot stuff as Alice Cooper, uh, the famous heavy metal singer, played Herod in the recent Jesus Christ Superstar on NBC. So we're going to be talking about his faith journey as well as that of Jimmy Kimmel, uh, one of my absolute favorite people uh, talked at length about faith in recent GQ story that, and said a lot of interesting things about how he sees comedy and, and the way uh, it's his mission from God. And also, uh, I love me, Kimmel. Talk, like, just yeah. talk about a guy who just who just has gotten better and better over the years. You know, yeah. he's, he's just so good at his, at his job, and yeah. I love the show. And uh, we're also going to be talking about the movie I Feel Pretty, which uh, me and Michael have seen, and Tanya. Has not, but uh, we yeah. we both think that she is pretty, and uh, so there you go. So, <laughs> so, so don't worry your pretty yeah, little head about that. It. I'm <laughs> working on it myself. Yeah. You're calling in, Tony. Do you? We can't tell. Do you feel pretty today? You sound um, pretty today. Oh, I took a shower, so I feel like like stunning. Actually, oh, that's so, all you need. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I had a cue button for applause, I would put it right there. Like a big round of yeah, applause. right there. Yeah. yeah. So. so uh, well, so let's dig in uh, or dive in, shall we? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm down for either. So Bill Cosby. <laughs> speaking of which, um, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, so, you, Carl, you're like this is a serious issue, man. He got like he's going to get up to possibly thirty years. We'll find out. But well, um, I, I have a feeling he won't be serving them all. I mean, cause yeah, I, have, I think so. Too. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I, I, I think hope he'll be in a, a natural parole eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's called time off for. Bad behavior, even. I mean, there's just no way he's making it 30 years. But right. anyways, um, yeah, so he, he got convicted today. Um, was it, Does anybody know, was it unanimous? Did it have to be unanimous? It had to be unanimous. Wow. And it was three counts. Wow. Um, uh, and it was, yeah. And he was also, the sentencing has yet to be done, but he has, they did go for the hearing on uh, whether he should be, uh, uh, you know, held in jail until the sentencing, or he should be free. Prosecutors are trying to say he was a, f- a flight risk because he has his own um, uh, jet and, um, you know, private jet. And uh, this is where Cosby lost his temper. He actually stood up in court and yelled, I don't have a jet, you really? a whole Yeah, oh he got, he got, yeah, Fat Albert lost his temper. So, um, wow. he lost then, his temper in uh, court. I've lost it, all respect. So the judge for him. agreed. <laughs> What was that? I've lost all respect for him here that he lost his temper like that. Yeah, <laughs> now you've lost your respect for him. I appreciate that, Michael. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, so he's, <laughs> yeah, everybody's making a big deal, like, oh, my gosh, Cosby can yell. So, wow. um, Well, he always yeah, yelled at Theo, so we knew that. I mean, it was always, Theo, what are you going to do, your homework? You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and now, now he yelled about something else. That's all par for the course, you know. But 
Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. the good news is that at his age, uh, if he does get all 30 years, that's that's basically a life sentence. Uh, right. Considering yeah. how old he is. And so I think justice has, has finally but definitely been served. I mean, this is after the mistrial. As frustrating as the mistrial was, I think it was mm-hmm. it was a good opportunity for the prosecution to look over their mistakes they made the first time and and like really get it right this time. And uh, yeah, and it's it's a really fascinating dichotomy because, I mean, it, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who doesn't love the Cosby show and consider that one of their favorite mm-hmm. sitcoms. <laughs> but also you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who thinks that that Bill Cosby was innocent and that uh, that he shouldn't that he didn't deserve this fate after after all that he's done. Well, yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what else you'd be hard pressed to find is uh, reruns of that on Nickelodeon or TV Land anymore. Well, That's yeah, true. no, he yeah. lost his yeah he lost his syndication like they they dumped it they all yeah. dumped it yeah 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 so, you know, I mean I made a wise that. I made a wise crack a couple of years ago on Facebook about you know hey anybody seen any Cosby Show reruns lately and <laughs> I got I got quite a response but but um, you know but the thing is it does raise an interesting question. That's going around in um, showbiz circles. Like, what do you do when somebody made great art or, you know, popular art, whatever? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's somewhat great, I'd say, you know, as far as the Cosby show itself, you know. But but in general, the guy did amazing albums, amazing performances, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then, then, but he's just an absolute reprehensible human being. What do you do? Do you, do you, keep watching anyway or you know do you appreciate what was there or do you just go banned for life because this applies to louis ck who i don't know i think is gross anyway but a lot of people thought it was great um but, you know what do you do are they do you just ban everything or do you or not ban or ignore or whatever or do people still do you think come back and, and watch it eventually or at least still appreciate the albums or Bill Cosby himself or whatever, you know? You know, actually, I saw a, a fascinating um, interview. It was uh, Cole Bear had Jerry Seinfeld on the show. I think it was huh. maybe like a month or two ago. Uh, and they raised that very question. And, and Seinfeld said, look, as reprehensible as a person he was off the stage and off camera and all the horrible things that he did, he, he is on the Mount Rushmore of, of comedy. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and it, it, and for for Seinfeld, he was like, I can separate the comedian from the man and just enjoy the comedy. And Colbert, Colbert said, you know what though, he was such an idol of mine growing up, and just just knowing that my idol was doing these things behind the scenes like that, I it was it was crushing to me, and I I just I can't let that go. And you know what? Mm-hmm. I don't I don't think either of them are wrong. You know, some people can right. can separate the comedy from the person; other people can't. And wherever whatever side of the fence you stand on that, I don't think you're wrong. Yeah, I, it's 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 a it's a hard choice, especially when it comes down to like if you feel like your dollar, if you're spending dollars for the art, are you supporting? You know what I mean? Supporting yeah. the the person, or you know, supporting the estate that pays for all the legal b- bills. But um, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a interesting thing where we have our heroes, and then we have the works that they they did, and sometimes we have to like look at a situation go okay we have a very broken vessel but some of the things they did very well and in 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 terms of like catholicism because that's what this show is supposed to be kind of about yeah. um <laughs> in terms of our point of view uh we are supposed to forgive somebody even though and 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 do look at the good stuff it doesn't mean that he's going to be at the same level of you know idolship or you know you realize that he's highly highly flawed but um he wasn't, you know, uh, necessarily did everything wrong in his life, and he did do some good. Um, you know, the Cosby Show was a crossover. It was the first fully black family. Well, besides, you know, uh, what was it? Um, good times and stuff. But it was like it was it was relatable and on, on multi, you know, main media outlets. For didn't matter what background you came from, you enjoyed the the Cosby Show, and um, so. It had its its you know sort of uh, made a dent in the television yeah. world and, and and stuff that was actually kind of important. So um, yeah, so there's a lesson. Not everybody's perfect, and some people are kind of monsters at home. But that's that's the struggle. You know, do you praise the good stuff and and acknowledge and accept the fact that that person wasn't. Um, all that great privately, but anyway. Well, you know, Speaking of not so great, well, hey. 
Oh, I, I have one other question in relation to this. I don't know whether this is our purview or not. Maybe redirecting guys away from it. I don't know. But I, I've been fascinated this whole time. What's you know, like what's the deal with uh, Camille Cosby putting up with this all these years? There's no way she didn't know. Interestingly, she wasn't in court, nor were his two daughters. Huh. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's like I've had people go, well, because of the money. And I'm like, okay, she could have had half his fortune ages ago, easily, hundreds of millions of dollars, and not have to put up with the embarrassment and God right. knows whatever disease he brought home. Is or that's whatever. something I don't think we're ever going to really know. It's bizarre, you know? man. But, I mean, somebody but, writes a tell-all book later. But, 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 but Catholically, um, <laughs> uh, 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 people are allowed to divorce over rampant, you know, infidelity yeah. correct right i mean we'll, we'll never yeah. know i i imagine it must be a thing though that you 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 fall in love with somebody that you think you know really well and and then the reality ends up being something so different and you can't come to grips with that i i, I imagine yeah. it has to have been something like because she and she when yeah, the, when the allegations first came out she said like the, these allegations are so different from the man i know that i'm inclined to not even believe them and then eventually <laughs> she kind of had to crack and be like okay yeah i guess with all these these and, women coming forward it, yeah, exactly. Because you know, I have I've had the experience of like where you, you you see evidence of something not great with this person that you're with, and then you go, "That's not possible. That doesn't mix with it. I, I must be imagining it, or I, you know, that that must be a mistake, or that." And you know, it just takes a long time sometimes to like get to the point where you go, "Nope, that was real. That was that was. This is a consistent pattern. This wasn't some somebody else did that, or this was. You know, it you it, it, there's a part of self." deception that goes in as, as a protection thing you protect your relationship by by actually just kind of dismissing it or giving it way more than the benefit of the doubt so that does happen psychologically and it could have happened for years you know so well, um and also the i idea, can see that and our sound guy just uh, dr dave robinson who normally doesn't uh, uh chime in but he made a good point just down a text to us you know love the sin or hate the sin maybe there were other things that he was really good to her about and you know, there's always been throughout history these famous marriages of powerful people where you know the wife was walked around on all the time, but mm-hmm. for whatever reason they stayed with them. Um, you know, granted, I think it wasn't the empowerment yeah. to leave throughout a lot of history, but maybe that's it. Maybe he really she loved him otherwise. And I mean, again, as a Catholic, of course. Of course, he deserves the right to repent for what he's done and try to be a better person for the rest of his life. Of of, of course, he deserves that opportunity in his in his life. But as a mm-hmm. comedian, I don't think he's deserved a second chance to be back on the stage again or or release anything. Well, I think that's going to happen. I, I, yeah, he's probably not going to get the opportunity. But like, say he he slips out of this somehow. I mean, <laughs> like I don't, I don't like from a for just from a comedy fan standpoint, I don't think he deserves a second chance to try to to come back. That would be the most yeah. porous jail cell of all time if an eight-year-old blind man. It would be the false prison Cosby is what yeah. that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the, the – here's the uh, he could make a good jailhouse album for sure. But but what yeah. about – you know, he starts telling jail stories. Man, so what's the deal with you? So um, – but but then there's also uh, – the, I wonder how the pudding is in prison, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not frozen. That's for dang sure. <laughs> Yeah, you get a lot of. Um, and if jello. it's got a stick in it, that's a problem. Somebody's trying to get, Shake do something, you. something <laughs> crazy. Yeah, so that got passed by the security guards for sure. Oh my gosh! Okay, so we should probably move on um, to yeah. uh, uh, Paul Ryan. <laughs> it's getting dirty. The um, yeah, Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House. Uh, just breaking news, basically. Uh, again, Doctor Dave brought this up. He's doing a better job at. Catholicism than we are this week. Uh, the uh, Speaker of the House basically had this showdown with uh, the chaplain, who's a Jesuit priest, over a prayer that he um, recited, or you know, not recited, but basically, <clears throat> you know, just invoked a prayer uh, during the session. And Ryan saw it as uh, too partisan or pointed, and so uh, he called for his resignation. And the guy was like, "Fine, I'm out of here." Um, I'm going to try and pull up a quote, but what do you guys think of uh, that in general? This was, I, you know, it's oh, ahead, kind Tanya. of fresh. I don't have a, a specific thing. I, 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 I'm not. I don't like to just as soon as it's just hours old. I guarantee you, there's not much information, and it's probably not exactly the right uh, tone. You know, so I'm I'm waiting for more information on that one. But it doesn't sound good. Well, let's um, yeah. let's let's read the the quote uh, of the prayer that he that he offered during the mass. It was um, 
let's see, it was it was uh, in November, so right around when the GOP tax bill was about to get uh-huh. passed. Was and, this in a mass or was this in Congress? We need to know what the context was. Uh, Congress. Let's see. It was a Congress of prayer. 